I know I am so late to the party this time in Ubuntu 15.10 releases. I totally missed the ballpark on it, and I just was going to write them off, but I've had so many requests to review Ubuntu Mate that I thought, okay, let's just give it a go. First off, where have I been lately? Well, I've been doing a massive DIY project in my house, turning my kitchen from this to this. And for my utility room, this layout with one socket above the worktop, to this, with four sockets and a load more usable space. So it's taken me about six months so far, and I've just been getting fed up with it and just wanting the job done. But first off, I had to rewire about half the house, so yeah, it's been quite a big job. Anyway, let's take a look at Ubuntu Mate. First off, I have to say, wow, this distro is proper quick. It's like someone stuffed it full of jalapenos and hot chilies, and it's just shot off. So here's a nice new feature in Ubuntu Mate 1510, this welcome screen. And you get a few different features inside here. So you've got a little introduction to the system, links to the community support, the IRC chat room, a look at the features that are in the system. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, look, go straight back to the top, back to home, yes. But this button here, getting started, this you really want to check out if you're new to the system. In fact, if you're new to Linux. Because I think this is a really good distro to get started with. Look, a link to the additional drivers. How simple is that? If an item of your hardware is not working correctly, you can just go over to here and check if there's any drivers available for it. Yeah. The software updater shows I have quite a few updates needed. Uh, okay, it's 174 meg, but bear in mind that's all the applications on the operating system and 47 meg of that is Firefox. And it won't take that long to do. So, and there's other features here on the getting started, like language support. Other important features you might want to look at here, backup, firewall, user management. A link to changing the user interface, uh, control center. A note on what some keyboard shortcuts are. So that's most applications, desktop shortcuts, and the application menu. Alt and F1, indeed it is. And you can have a look at some of the merchandise I have on offer. <laughs> because there's a link here to Entroware. Now, Entroware are selling computers with Ubuntu Mate pre-installed on them. Anyway, let's continue looking around the system. So the layout of the desktop is very reminiscent of the GNOME Classic. Now Mate is a fork of GNOME Classic, but they've continued to adapt it and improve on it. So you've got your application menu on the top left hand side, you can see shortcuts to your home folder, and system tools, shortcuts to a few applications, but in this case it's only Firefox. On the right hand side you've got your time, date, and calendar. It seems to have become a bit disorganised on the layout because I've adjusted the resolution a few times. But anyway, you've got menus here for your network and volume control. Right clicking on the volume control brings up the sound preferences and also gives you the option to mute. At the bottom of the screen you've got a show desktop icon, the currently open applications, link to the trash can and desktop switcher. Under system, preferences and look and feel, you've got this Mate Tweak application. And it offers some of the features like Ubuntu Tweak had. It's quick shortcuts on changing a few things on the desktop, the windows, so you can change the position to close, minimize, maximize button. Because by default they're on the right hand side. I change them to the left because that's how I've got used to it. You can change the window manager. So if your system can't quite keep up with the graphics, you can change the Marco desktop manager, which is a bit simpler. And you can do it on the fly, you don't have to reboot or anything. In fact, should we just keep on Marco for the rest of the review? Yeah, why not? You can change the panel layout. There's a few different panel layouts on offer. The cappuccino is like an Apple system. You've got the plank menu at the bottom. Netbook, it widens the view on a desktop. Yeah, that's the idea of a netbook layout. Open SUSE. Redmond, which is like a Windows 2000 layout. And back to the Ubuntu Mate layout. And that's created the layout on the top panel. So yeah, that's a really nice feature. Gives you a few different options on changing the desktop. Now this app grid I installed from the welcome screen. This is an alternative to the Ubuntu Software Center. I have to say, it is pretty damn quick. All right, Chromium, I suppose I spelled that wrong. There, Chromium web browser. See? You can see the user reviews. Got a picture of the application. And then you've got the option to install. That is really quite quick. 
they should use this in Ubuntu rather than that slow, long-winded Ubuntu software center, which I have to say I don't find a huge problem, but when you compare it to AppGrid, yeah, it is pretty damn slow. In Akaja File Manager, you've got the option to change the colors of individual folders. So you can right-click on them. You can change the folder color here. So let's take orange for documents and, I don't know, let's say red for downloads. That feature appeared in the last version, but I thought I'd mention it again. It's quite a nice feature and kind of sets Kaja apart from any of the other file managers. And I have to say, it is a very good file manager. I think mean, Dolphin is slightly better, but Dolphin really does look the best on KDE, but then it requires you to have a bit more of a bloated system. There's quite a few different themes available on the system. Let's try that. Oh, that looks quite fancy. Yeah, that looks quite fancy. Blue submarine. Yeah, quite like that. The backgrounds. Well, a very fine chap created this one I'm using here. Me. Yes, I drew that. So not only am I doing a review on the distro, I have actually contributed to it as well. I right, a quick look around the applications. Wow, I do like that theme. Under accessories, yeah, that's about what you expect. Under graphics, there's nothing that special really, you've just got the image viewer and simple scan. Under internet, the default web browser is Firefox, and the email client is Thunderbird. Under office, you've got the full suite of LibreOffice. Sound and video, got Rivenbox for your sound player, VLC for your media player. System tools, got the system monitor. Uh, memory usage has crept up to about 700 meg now, but it's about 400 meg at boot up. Slightly higher than it was before, but not overly large. You can still use it on a fairly lightweight system. Right, here's what I thought of Ubuntu Mate 1510. I love the new welcome support page. I think all distros should have something like it. It just makes it a bit more helpful for new users. They can find the things they want really easy, like driver install, some additional support, a few programs to install. Yeah, simple little things, but a really nice feature to have. As I said already, it is very fast. And it does have a great community support behind the distro. It's rare I say that. In fact, I think this is the only distro I've commented as that. <laughs> but yeah, it does have a good community behind it. And on the downside, well, I haven't got anything really, and I was scraping the barrel just to say it's an interim support release of Ubuntu. It's only nine months long, but so what? Look, if they put their effort into maintaining these interim support releases, then subsequent releases wouldn't be so good. So take your poison here. You got a long-term support release, 1404, or you got the next one coming out later this year in April. I'd rather they worked or getting their distro better for that point with the long-term support release. So overall, I've given it 90%. Yes, it's the same score as I gave before, but to be honest, it's about as high as an interim support release is going to get. I look forward to seeing what they come up with for the next release, and I hope the score will be a bit higher. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.